So what have they gone through? 6.46. 6.46 in the B final. The A final is sitting there ready. They're in the orange light. Just to remind you, in lane one, we've got McLean's College. Lane two, Shirley Boys. Lane three, St. Peter's College. Lane four, Wellington College. Lane five, Wakatipu High School. Lane six, Wakatani High School. Lane seven is Glendowie. Lane eight is St. Paul's Collegiate. Looking to see what happens with St. Peter's, Wellington, Wakatipu and Fokatani here. So closest to us, we'll see St. Paul's as they pull out and start. And away they go. St. Paul's out. Everyone's out cleanly. We'll see who gets out quickest. Oh, a quick start there from Fokatani. Away they've gone. Starting to pull out. They're all short and sharp. Through 41-42, the rating as they start to go through their half, three quarters, half three quarters and out to the full they go but Fokatani they've gone out quick they've got half a canvas already over out there in lane uh, four Wellington College gone out quickly with them as well and then we come back inside to Fokatipu in lane five so still Fokatani out there in lane six with half a canvas already just outside of them Glen Dowie then we come across to Wakatipu Wellington College starting to push out on them and inside of them in lane three would be St Peter's then just out to Shirley Boys in lane two back inside to McLean's in lane one and then we come across to St Paul's Collegiate in lane eight so still with Fokatani in lane 6. Then we come across to Glendowie in lane 7. Out we go to Wellington College in lane 4. St Peter's in lane 3. Just a wee bit further off the pace. I'd expect a bit more from them, but maybe let's wait and see what happens in the next 500. Then we go to Shirley Boys in lane 2 and out to McLean's in lane 1. So still leading at the stage. Very early on as they come up towards the 500 is Fokatani. Then it is Glendowie in lane 7. We come across to Wellington College in lane 4. And then it is in... Lane 3, St. Peter's, and Shirley Boys in lane 2. Back to lane 1 is McLean's, then we come back to St. Peter's again, starting to, stir, uh, starting to show a bit of movement in there. It's actually Wellington College, my apologies, in lane 4, that are a wee bit further back. They're about a boat length behind everybody else, but they'll soon catch up. Coming up past 500 they go, and out here is Glen Dowie in lane 7, pushing up on Fokatani. So they'll go first and second, they will be by a bow ball. Lane 8 just a bit further back there we can see in screen now. And then we come back from the crew in lane 6 and we go to Wellington College in lane 4. Then we go out to Shirley Boys there in lane 2. And then back we come to St Peter's in lane 3. Outside in lane one is McLean's and then off the pace a little bit at the moment is St Paul's Collegiate but there's still a long way to go. So lane seven, Glen Dowie, you've got a canvas now over Fokatani. Outside of them is Wakatipu but come back to Wellington College would be third as they hit through in that second 500 metres. One or two will be starting to make a move now. We go to lane two which is Shirley Boys High School still in the mix there and just poking through in lane five again is Wakatipu. They'll be ones to watch. It's still Glen Dowie though on the outside in lane seven from Fokatani. Then we go back inside to Wellington College. Well, then it's still Shirley Boys. Shirley Boys still an aunt out there in lane two. Then we come back inside to Wellington College again. Then it looks like Wakatibu just starting to push through. Starts to take a look. The two man has a look either side of him. He should probably be watching where he's going. And there it is how still out on the outside here it is. Glendowie. Glendowie over Fokatani. They're all starting to get in with a cooey of each other. Wakatipu starting to push through in lane five. But it's still Glendowie. Glendowie with half a boat length now over Fokatani. And they go across to Wellington College. Wellington College drawing level with Fokatani. Then we just see Wakatipu just starting to push through. Shirley Boy's still up there, but they're starting to get pushed back a little bit or fall away a wee bit. Then we come back inside to, it looks as though in lane three, St. Peter's College. Then we go to McLean's in lane one. So they're coming through the 1,000 metres we go. And we can start to see them coming up a bit clearer now. It's Glendowie College in lane seven. Glendowie from Fokatani. Then we come across to Wellington College in lane four. Then we come back to Wakatipu in lane five. Outside to Shirley Boys in lane two. Then we come back inside to oh, see McLean's College, are probably head of St. Peter's in lane three. As they start to, well, we've got less than 1,000 metres to go now. It's still with Glendowie. How much have they got left in them? Well, they've gone past Wakatani. And as we see on the screen there now in lane four, it's Wellington College starting to push up. Starting to bring Wakatipu with them in lane five. Shirley Boy still in it out there in lane two, not far off the pace. Outside of them is McLean's College. And then in lane eight, it's St Paul's Collegiate probably just starting to fall away. So it's starting to still look like Wak uh, Glendowie. Glendowie from Fokatani. Wakatipu starting to push through too, though, on Wellington. Shirley Boys are still there in lane two. Inside of them is St Peter's. In Wellington College in lane four. But it's Glendowie 
out there in lane seven. Still Glen Dowie from Fokatani. Right next to them, Wakatipu. Have they been biding their time? Starting to make a move here in the third 500. Just outside of them is Wellington College. Then we see it's still Shirley Boys in lane two. Shirley Boys ahead of, McCla- of St. Peter's in lane three. So it's interesting. Here we go now. With probably 750 to go. They start to get ready to come through the 500 and towards the crowd. Glen Dowie starting to extend. Glen Dowie over Fokatani. Glen Dowie, Fokatani, but out there in lane three, it, sorry, lane four, Wellington College. Wellington College still in the mix. They're in a line with Shirley Boys High. Shirley Boys in lane two. We're looking at Glen Dowie though still. Glen Dowie in lane four is Wellington College. Glen Dowie, Wellington College, Shirley Boys High. And it's Glen Dowie moving through though. They're ahead of Wakatani, so I'm still going with Glen Dowie. Glen Dowie, Wellington College, and Shirley Boys as they come down past the crowd. Starting to give them a lift. Wellington College is still there in lane four. St. Peter's in lane three, not out of it. We go into the middle of Wakatipu. What have they got left? They've raced a lot this week, that crew. Let's see what they've got left. But it's Glen Dowie starting to extend. They're getting excited down here. The thistle starting to jump. They've still got 250 metres to go, though. And it is Glen Dowie. Glen Dowie over Wellington College. Shirley Boys still there. They'll need to watch, though, with the pressure coming from St. Peter's. And watch the Wakatipu crew in lane five. They're starting to move. Fokatania coming back again. It's going to be a line-up for the minor money. Glen Dowie have held on. They've still got some to go. Wellington College in lane four starting to move. It's Wellington College starting to move. Shirley Boys will need to go with them. Just out well side Wellington College is Wakatipu. Wakatipu and Fokatani are moving as well. Glen Dowie have got the lead. Second is Wellington College. But then we've got Fokatani, Wakatipu and Shirley Boys lining up for third. As they come down now with 150 metres to go. Glen Dowie, they're going nuts down here. They're about a boat length and a half ahead of the rest of them. The rest of them chasing Fokatani, Wakatipu. Wellington College have got the advantage. Shirley Boys might have rode their race. They come down now, 100 metres to go. Wakatani past the Red Boys, in they come. Fokatani outside them. It's just Glen Dowie have gone through the Red Boys. Glen Dowie, Fokatani, Wakatipu, Wellington College. That's where it'll come from. Shirley Boys have gone. And looks like St Paul's have as well, and so have the rest of them. So coming down we go with a boat length and a half. It's Glen Dowie. But it's between Fokatani, Wakatipu, Wellington College. Fokatani a second. Glen Dowie going to take the goal. Fokatani and down on the inside lane. Wellington College will take the bronze just over Wakatipu. Over the top of uh, St Paul's. Down to Shirley Boys High. Then we see St Peterson completing the field. And a fantastic race was McLean's College. Glen Dowie, they made the move at about the 1,000 metre mark. They moved past Fokatani and they didn't let it go. Fokatani came again to take the silver medal and just sneaking through with Wellington College and the bronze. They were there right from the start. They've gone through in waiting for the official results of the boys under 17 Cox quads a final and there we have it first in a time of 6.40.88 Glendowie College second Fokatani High School third Wellington College fourth Wakatipu High School fifth St Paul's Collegiate sixth Shirley Boys High School 
in seventh, St. Peter's College with McLean's College completing the field in eighth position. Please welcome the medalists for the boys under 17 Cox Quadruple Skulls. And this will be a medal ceremony that might break world records because we've got an A final just started. But we want to give these guys what they deserve, which is the recognition they've so hard worked so hard for. Please a big round of applause for in third place our bronze medal winners from Wellington College in 644-11. It is Wellington College. <laughs> Ty Renner, Maxim Eriksson, Max McLaughlin, James Hargraves, Cox's Lockie Wall, and the coaches Sam Waghorn. Congratulations to Wellington College as they get their medals there from their coach. In second position, in a time of 6.43.75, winners of the silver medal, Fokatani High School. Congratulations to Ryan Calder, Sean Snow, Zachary Boonin, and Luke Berquist. Cox by Conrad Hopkins. Coach Graham Watt. Congratulations to the silver medalist, Fokatani High School. I'm sure we'll get a big crowd, a big cheer here. The winners of the gold medal and the boys under 17 Cox Quadruple Skulls in a time of 6.40.88, Glendowie College. They also win the Tauranga Boys College Cup. Congratulations to Kieran Smith, Alex Audley, Alex Baven, Strokers Micah Fitton Higgins and Rory Smith Rice the Cox, coached by Ashley Richards. Congratulations to our gold medalists and national champions in the boys under 17 Cox Quadruple Skulls, Glendowie College. Right down to the course we go, and with right. through the first 500 now already is the yeah. girls under 80, Novice Cox 4. So just repeating for you in lane 1, we've got Villa Maria, lane 2, Waikato Diocesan. We come to uh, Waitaki girls in lane 3, Waitaki Diocesan in lane 4, Christchurch <laughs> girls high in lane 5. Yeah! yeah. St. Paul's Collegiate in lane 7, and lane 8, that's Columba College. And it's out there in lane 6 at the moment, St. Margaret's College with an early lead.